All right, today is Saturday, October 7th, and we're back in the garage uh, working on our trailer project. And last time we left you, some bolt holes weren't lining up, and I just left it, and I didn't really want to mess with it. It was the end of the day. I was kind of tired. So um, we're going to try to get a bunch of stuff done, finally get the axle on, finally get the wheels on. Over the last week or so, I watched a lot more video, and I started to just think way out above and outside my little box I want to stay in, which is cheap and easy because it's I'm not going to live in this thing forever or use it forever. So I was looking at like doing a double axle and then building the base of the camper wider than the frame like some guys are doing, getting five feet width, you know, eight uh, or ten feet length. And um, I just had to come back to, to earth and say, come on, no, let's just keep it simple. Let's do our little project. And so I'm back down to earth. So I did finally get my little welder right here. Um, that'll be enough to just zip up, uh, you know, the seams where all the bolts are, just to make the frame, you know, one piece instead of a bunch of pieces bolted together. So I'm just going to show you guys what happened with that um, area where the two other bolt holes weren't lining up. So these two bolt holes weren't lining up. And um, the reason was on the inside, here there was a little nub of weld from the factory and this did not want to slide all the way and butt up like this so it was getting hung up you one of the most useful tools in your toolbox I just held this one and I pounded it shut and it worked and it still left like a tiny bit where the bolt could barely go in but I got it to go in and the seam looks just like the seam over here on the other side pretty close. This one does look a little bit tighter, but it's not going to sweat it. Everything measures square and that's all I'm going to worry about. I'm going to cut these things off of here because I'm not going to be folding this trailer up, at least intentionally. So back to work, right buddy? Yeah. Bye. All right, keeping with my theme of going cheap, um, <clears throat> I bought this cheap little welder. It's actually a Lincoln. Handy core. I got it for like 270 on Amazon and the reviews were really good. It's just a 110, no gas, and it's uh, it'll be fine on zipping this little stuff up. Uh, and I need a little project welder for a little stuff around the house. So, and then uh, got this helmet also off Amazon. I know what you're all thinking. You only have two eyes. Uh, the reviews were really good on it, even compared to some couple hundred dollar units. Um, and I checked it out, and I've welded a lot in the past. I built another trailer a couple years ago uh, with a real welder. Well, it's a real one, but just a little mini fun one. So, and the the helmet is really good quality. It seems to really work well, and I feel comfortable putting my eyes behind it. So, um, yeah. So for about 320 bucks, I got a whole welding set up in order to do this, and uh, we're going to put it to use and see how it goes.
our home? It look like it, do it. What the heck? How'd you do that? Well, I have plenty of time. Oh, you can't help myself. Hey! That was my toy? That's funny. That was my toy? I just flipped it over. He's just strong. Pretty stoked to how it tows. I've towed uh, in upwards of 45 feet. I've double towed before. Been towing for a long time. Obviously, this thing's a cinch. Uh, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to go with a 15-inch wheel and a larger off-road type tire. I've looked at a lot of those campers that are like survival or bug-out campers, and they have these cool black wheels with aggressive tires on them. And um, since that's what I do for a living, it's really inexpensive for me to set that up. And then if I use a little spacer, push it out an inch, um, that'll give me a little more room between the tires to experiment with what I want to do with the floor plan once we get there. So, But she's all together. I'm towing her around the neighborhood. Uh, I'm going to go get a couple bolts. Since I used some of the leaf spring bolts to put together the tongue, which were meant to be the uh, the cotter pin, you know, deals you pull out and lift the tongue and all that. I used those, I put those uh, leaf spring bolts there. So I'm gonna go get the right ones for the leaf springs now. Uh, everything else worked out good. Zipped up the bottom last night. So the next step really is um, zip up a few seams, some of those lap joints on top. I don't wanna do too much welding because it's really thin and you know, the more you start heating stuff up, the weaker it's going to get. So I'm just trying to give it a little more rigidity. And then again, try to stay as cheap as possible without adding a bunch of cross braces and stuff and just going crazy like my mind likes to do. So, we'll zip some more stuff on the top next weekend. And then we're going to start putting down the decking and uh, getting at it. And that's when the fun starts. The walls start going up quick. and Got a lot of thinking to do. Lost a lot of sleep thinking about options and this and that and I just keep having to simmer back down to reality and uh, use the kiss theory keep it simple stupid so that's gonna be it for today uh, I'm gonna park this bad boy and uh, until next week thanks for watching Run yourself over. I want these boots are heavy. How are you gonna get it out? I don't know. I'll try. What if it starts to roll backwards? What? What if it starts to roll backwards? Okay, look out. Uh, I don't know what to do. Oh, I got an idea. <laughs> mm. Maybe you need some help. Alright. I'm not to do for help. <laughs>